Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the Apostles of Great Millstone. And salutations to you, brothers, pushing the word in truth and in sincerity. All right? I just wanted to get into a quick lesson, basically going into Jacob's trouble. All right? Because the so called Negro, Latino, and Native Americans are the so called uh, Salakia. Are not so called, but are the biblical Israelites according to the Bible. Okay? You can read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, all right, from 1 through 14. You can read the blessings that we will we will have we would have received if we would have been obedient to Yahweh by Hashem But through, from 15 to 68, uh tells you about the curses that will come upon the children of Israel, all right, if we was disobedient to Yahweh by Hashem And Yahweh being the Heavenly Father's name, and we say Baha Shem, which means Ba in Ha the Shem name. All right, Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son. All right, so we pray, we praise the Most High through his son. Okay, but with no further ado, uh, Jacob's trouble is on his way, man. All right, but the scriptures tell us that uh, this evilness must pass away before righteousness, righteousness can come. So this is Jeremiah 30 and 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. And that he is talking about the elect, all right? Because why? Two-thirds of our people right here in America are already deemed for death, all right? They're going to be destroyed, okay? But the Lord has an election, a remnant, all right? Matter of fact, let's get the scripture. The Lord already has a remnant, all right, that's, gonna, that's deemed to be saved, man. Lord will, we're part of that remnant, okay? I get straight, uh, I get straight to the point. Romans 9 and 27. Isaiah also cried of concerning Israel, though the number of the children of Israel be at the center of the sea, because we have been spread through the four corners of the earth, all right? And Israel is everywhere, man, okay? We're spread all over the earth, man, all right? The Lord said we're the center of the sea, all right? It says, um, though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. All right? And that remnant is going to be saved out this upcoming destruction, man. A remnant is going to eat when the time of famine comes. All right? A remnant is going to be protected. A remnant is going to have faith. All right? A remnant of Israel is going to be saved, man. Okay? And first and foremost... You got all, a lot of these groups that's talking about they're going to be saved. Hey, if you're not an Israelite, and then on top of that, if you're not the elect of Israel, you're not going to be saved, man. Because you heathens have nothing to do with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? This is only for Israel, man. The Lord's people is Israel, none other, man. All right? But a lot of you people will get caught up out here, all right, because you're going to be uh, drinking. Smoking, marrying and giving in marriage. The same thing they was doing back then. All right? It's nothing new under the sun. Okay? Matthew 24, 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Hey, the scriptures tell you in uh, Peter's that Yahweh Shai comes as a thief of the night, man. The Lord's coming as a thief in the night. You're not going to know when the Lord's come, man. You're going to get caught off guard. Okay? It says, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And here it is. The, the Lord got the spirit on his prophets and the men, men of the Lord out here telling you that these upcoming calamities are coming. The famine, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. Don't take it. All right. Or, or according to the Bible, Revelation 14 and 9, you will be destroyed. All right. Martial law, race riots, famine. Cannibalism, dogs that tear, wild beasts of the field. Man, it's going to be heavy judgment out here, all right? And, and right here on the soils of America, man. And a lot of people are going to get caught off guard because they're not going to take heed to the prophets. They're not going to listen to the prophets, man. They're going to keep partying and keep 
uh, business as usual, but not knowing that the day of the Lord is coming, man. It's darkness and gloominess. And they're going to be destroyed, man, because we just read it, only a remnant shall be saved, man. So majority of our people are going to be destroyed right here in America, man. And, uh, and whoever else uh, around the world who want to have their rebellious spirit on them, who don't want to serve the Lord, man. Because Jacob's trouble is coming. That's why it's called Jacob's trouble, man. All right? But that's the point. Jacob's trouble was coming. It said, through the fear of the Lord, we persuade men. Hey, it's t the Lord is drawing a line, man. If you want to if you want to be saved, Lord will, and potentially uh, uh, be missed out this upcoming destruction, come on this side and serve Yahweh by Hashem Shai and repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. If you want to be destroyed, if you want to be out there hungry, you want to be out there starving, hey, stay in the world and, 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 and do what you've been doing, man. Because the Lord is not playing anymore, man. Make your man up. If you can't make your man up, the Lord's going to make it up for you, all right? So take heed to the message and repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. So hopefully this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, and Shalom.